I've been heard to say several times about becoming the voice for those who have no voice. We live in an interesting society, an interesting community, and I'm here tonight to tell you that we're talking about a subject that a lot of people dislike talking about. I've been in functions like this, and I'll tell them what kind of work I do and the fact that most of our children are sexually abused, and I've heard, oh, gross, that doesn't happen in our community. Or, oh, and they don't want to talk about children being sexually abused. Tonight, I'm here to thank you because you are not uncomfortable with this subject, and you are willing to hear me say it is happening to the children in our community, and what Safe Harbor does brings those children along the way so that they heal and have a better childhood. And because of you, there's a better way to help these children. And I thank you for coming tonight. Welcome to the Safe Harbor Gala. We're here tonight to honor and support the first responders and the local law enforcement who help out the children in the community and to raise funds for Safe Harbor so that they can continue doing the good work that they're doing. Thank you. I've got Pam Garrett, the executive director, and Cheryl Schlesinger, she is the president of the board. Pam, can you tell us a little bit about what's going on here tonight? Well, tonight is our fourth annual gala, and this year we're doing a celebration of the stars, which we're celebrating all the supporters, which means those who work with the children that come to the center, and the donors, and anybody who cares about a child that's been abused. So tonight's a big celebration to make sure that we're all here, taking care of the kids and the children, and being the voice for those who have no voice. That's wonderful. And Cheryl, can you tell me a little bit about your role here tonight? Sure. Um, Safe Harbor started in 2008, so I've been on the board since that time, um, and I've been president of the board uh, for the past four years. So the key thing that the board does is really make sure that we can get the funding that we need to keep the center open um, and give Pam the resources she needs for staff and to treat our kids. So this is a big night for us to reach out to the community and make contacts and have people open up their pocketbooks and help us um, support our, our mission of Safe Harbor. Two hundred now three and two hundred here three. I'm number three three three. Number three hundred. Two hundred here three. I'm number three three three. Number three hundred. I have found the lovely Pam Cooper. And Pam, can you tell me why you're out here supporting this cause tonight? This cause, this organization is so special and dear to my heart. You know, I remember a time when Safe Harbor didn't exist and children who were in abusive situations uh, had to be interviewed by numerous people, attorneys, uh, social service, police officers. It was such a traumatic experience that a victimized child was sort of re-victimized in, in many respects. And Safe Harbor just removes that and, and creates uh, this this environment that's safe, hence the name. And uh, and then, additionally, they provide counseling for these children free of charge for as long as they need. And, and that's what makes this such an important organization. Board Acre Development believes in trying to give back to the community. Uh, we think this is one of the most worthy causes in the area. My fiance is sits on the board with uh, Safe Harbor and we believe it's a wonderful cause, a wonderful give to give back to the community. Can you tell me why you're out here supporting this event tonight? Well, we are guests of the Silversmiths. They're here with Sprelly, and we really just want to learn more about the cause. Um, I know that Safe Harbor is an excellent organization that supports children that are in these terrible situations, and so I'm more interested in finding out what they do and how we can support them. I just think it's really bad what's happening, and it's great that we're supporting it. Josie, tell us a little bit why Tell us about why you came out here tonight. Um, one of my co-workers, Danielle, um, she is actually one of the board members, and she shared with me the mission and the great cause that they're doing and all the great work. So I invited my husband to come out here with me and have a good night and learn all about it, so see if we can do something in the future with them as well. Our volume is ever-increasing. Um, it is good news, bad news. It's sad to think that um, those children that continually are sexually abused keep coming through our doors but the good news to that is is that our mission is becoming more and more well known in the community 
Um, so these children are bravely disclosing uh, this abuse that is happening to them and allowing Safe Harbor to help them on a, a journey um, to come back out the other side uh, healthier and hopefully happier.